Hello everyone, and we are here with Spike's Day Out. I'm Greenbean. And I'm Sapir. And, uh, so this screen here pretty much sums up Spike's life perfectly, where he's just really, he looks really high, and Twilight's like, I will kill the fuck out of you, Spike. You stupid slave. To be fair, I feel bad for Twilight having to deal with such a high dragon, but he probably got into his drug addiction because of her shit. Yeah, probably. Let's see. Who? I really got it from Twilight. Who is this? Twix? I don't know. I, you can do them, whoever they are. God, what? Wh who said that? Oh, I it's did. Coco. Wait, why were you hiding in trash? That's how she got a new job. Oh, I see. Hey, I remember you from Main Hand. Yeah, I'm Spike. What are you doing here, Coco Pamel? I'm here for the PonyCon subculture convention today. Thought you would have noticed. What was other ponies in cosplay? Oh. I want to see those now. Yeah, I do too. Wait, uh, is your cosplay trash? <laughs> I guess so. I think it. Okay. Where you? Where are? Uh, where you here? Fuck, I can't read. <laughs> Were you here for it too? I mean, to be fair, that is wrong. I think it is are you here for it too, but whatever. Oh, no, I got lost. I didn't know there was a convention out here. Well, it's good Also, Coco's... It's funny, usually the, uh, the portraits have been adorable, but Coco's portrait actually looks really, uh, derpy. <laughs> well, I mean, not a little bit adorable, but you can say derpy, darling. Okay, fair enough. I don't hate it. Well, it's good that you're here. Could you help me out of this thing? <laughs> Is it trash? Is it knight's armor? I don't know what the fuck it is. I think... I don't know. I Like, it looks like the headpiece is a knight armor type thing, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually here to work at an event later at the day. And I'm supposed to... And I'm supplying these replica suits of armor for it. Well, that answers it. I guess... Yeah. Okay. So, wait. Those are replicas? What... What kind of suits of armor were those? Those don't look very effective. Maybe yeah, just like molesty as fetish suits for her gods. <laughs> Maybe so. You made this? I thought you were just a costume designer. I work on commission. I, <laughs> costume I like designer, the... blacksmith, same thing, really. <laughs> That's the answer. Like she can do anything as long as it's for a commission. <laughs> yeah. I'd be nuclear missus if I, if I could pay for it. <laughs> yeah, why not? That's my job is a do anything pony. I even made some on the spot fixes for a few ponies here. I can't help but feel responsible for all the costumes here. This one already was falling apart. I mean, I, I'm i sure she means the costumes, like, the not armor, but I can just imagine, like, she's going around the convention, fixing up everyone's costume. She's like, hey, I see your bow tie's a little unstraight. Do you want to, do you want me to fix that, Dr. Hooves? <laughs> but then there's the rest of the armor we back home I need to finish. But you're at the convention, so, like, you went to the convention and you didn't finish your armor? Yeah, it seems a little weird. Nothing a little foam and hot glue on fix, right? Sounds like a busy schedule for you. Did, uh, you need some help with that? Oh, I can't ask you for help. Besides, I'm sure your friends need you more than I do. No, they don't! <laughs> He's so <laughs> mad. <laughs> Just, they don't need me, stupid cunt. No That's one such needs a weird me. Action. They'll be fine without me. I'm it's, so edgy. Is something wrong? Actually, I need to get a gift for some pony. Now that you mention it, 
I might need some assistance with the ventilator. I bet you just told me that you... <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, I know. Employees will get a free ticket to any bride well, bridely... I can't say that one. Show. Bridal way. Bridal way. Wow. That's perfect. Twilight loves musicals. Where is it? It's inside the convention center. Up the stairs. But I think you need a badge to get inside. Sure, I can join you. Thanks. Here's a little something for you. Got a fancy looking hat. Use X to equip it and C to take it off. Okay. It's a hat. It's a hat for Vic Valentine cosplay I was working on. So the new, so the new meta for this game instead of breathing fire is clothes. We've gotten to Final Fantasy X-2 territory. But it makes more sense with ponies. Yeah, it does make more sense with ponies. Wearing it will make you look inconspicuous. And you'll be able to overhear other ponies' conversations. Some pon sometimes, eav sometimes eavesdroppings on ponies can help you do things, <laughs> and I can't read. Also, yes, wait, uh, this I'm is what you need me help for. <laughs> she needs our help to go around eavesdropping on people, uh, ponies, apparently. <laughs> Which is just great advice. Hey, sometimes eavesdropping is good. It might even help you be more stealthy too. I'll put it to good use. Oh, look at the time. I already need to get back to work. I see you at the Alicorn Princess Tea Party later. Wait, what? Aw oh, yeah, look at my swag hat. I've gotta admit the hat, um, like, I like the way it looks, but it doesn't fit the character model very well. Like, it's, you can see the hat's just on the character model, not, uh, actually attached to Maybe, maybe he actually his... it to his forehead. It's <laughs> maybe so. Suit of armor is blocking the door. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh my gosh, it's Link in Deadpool and, uh, that one bitch from Batman. Good. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> there should be a convention exclusively for waiting in lines. Yeah, um, I, I know that one. It's called Everfree. <laughs> There's a lot of lines at Everfree. There was a lot of lines at Everfree 2012. <laughs> Good to know. There were lines that went into lines that went around houses. It was fucking broke. Jesus, that sounds insane. There were lines to get into an elevator that would take you upstairs into another line. <laughs> what were all these lines for? Music. Oh, wow. Must Jesus. have been a lot of music going on there. Thank you, ponies like music. Yeah, they sure do. <laughs> I need a badge to get in, but I'm not about to wait in line all day. I mean, to be fair, there's only three ponies here. That's not, like... <laughs> that's not a very big line. It's what are you dressed as? Oh. Wow, you don't look very good, Trixie. <laughs> look at that face! <laughs> what happened to not you? Amused. Yeah. I guess we need to get Why her food. Why are you taking your head and... off and then... Talk to her? Oh, and then... Maybe then she would be like, <laughs> And then I get stuck on nothing. <laughs> that is really strange. Yeah, that was. Okay. Apparently that does. So I guess she what if I talk to her? What a bitch. Yep, that's a line, all right. I know. Seriously. Apparently, <laughs> why does that happen? Apparently, when I put my hat on, I can no longer walk forward. <laughs> I like his in the in the move walking in butt. Yeah, I know. He just gets too swag. <laughs> Yo, I want some ice cream. Are you sure the guy next to me stole my waffle cones? You get a free waffle cone if I had any here. What is the hot dog guy gonna do with waffle cones? I don't know, but I got a hot dog. Don't worry, it's vegan. Do you store cool. that? Yes! I just went up and stole a hot dog. Where's the guy? I need to look inconspicuous to get food here. 
Wait, what? so is your head now switched? Where you can take it without the head, but you can't take it with the head? I can take... Yeah, I think I couldn't take the hot dog without the hat. I had to have it on. Okay. Cardboard boxes are the highest form of stealth. True story. Barbecue maze. I bet that is bro maze originally. <laughs> bro maze here. They said I couldn't barbecue corn. I showed them. Who said I that? showed all of them. I would eat barbecue. The barbecue corn. guy. Yeah, it sounds good. I want some. I could totally snatch that hot dog off the counter over there. Who I, says I already that? did. I don't know. <laughs> Especially like with this eavesdropping thing, I tend to wonder who most of these are talking to. Like, what is he talking to? Solid Snake here. Hey, customer, I could steal that hot dog. Um, I guess it could be Solid Snake saying it, but who would he say it to? Yeah, I don't know. That seems like, that also seems like a strange thing to go up and, like, ah, I bought some corn for you. By the way, I could snatch that hot dog over there. Huh, there's a little sign here that says closed. Okay. Bubble tea. Hmm. <clears throat> Pay no mind the flashing lights under the truck. Name any exotic flavor. I got it here. Fair deal, and... coffee. <laughs> Good question. Okay, so there's flashing lights under the truck. That's apparently suspicious and something I should look into. I don't know how. I don't really so know what to do with my dog. hot dog either. Yeah. I got a hot. Oh, wait! Trixie said she was hungry. I guess I go uh, but give that she to Trixie. Didn't really say that. Oh, yeah, her stomach grumbled. But you know what I mean. Trixie, why isn't he happy when she... you're not talking to her? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny. Like, just pressing the button glitches it out. Like, see, I have my hat on, and then if I hit the hit put hat on button again. I get stuck. <laughs> it's the swag button. <laughs> yeah, it's the swag walker button. Yo, Trixie, I'm gonna style all over you. Trixie should really eat breakfast instead of just waiting for lunch. Um, Trixie? How my Trixie help you, convention goer? Are you working here? Wait a minute, you have a dragon back in Philadelphia. Yeah, and we're also Twilight's assistant. Apparently you just forgot that too. Well, I mean, that was totally... I don't know when <laughs> this takes place. Fair enough. But now we... Well, you'd be glad to know Trixie is now living back in Canterlot. I never knew you were living in Canterlot, but cool. Isn't, that's what we were doing. We had to get back to Canterlot. Oh yeah, I, I also forgot. Whole game about. <laughs> I thought the whole game was about getting a hot dog to throw at the ceiling. Yeah, yeah but the only way to get the hot dog was to help Trixie. Yeah, yeah. I can see that you picked up a day job since then. I said, why is getting hot dogs so fucking easy now? <laughs> I don't know. We spent the entire game doing it last time, and now we can just switch it, steal it, like instantly. This is only temporary employment for the weekend. It's not like Trixie was strong armed into being here. Uh-huh, sure. By the way, did you want something to eat? I could hear your stomach across the street. So now I'm just wondering, how, how often does this happen that the convention <laughs> mafia knocks on your door and forces you to join the... <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of confused how she was strong-armed into this. Who was like, yo, Trixie, you gotta do this, bitch. Food for me? Yeah, here's a hot dog for ya. That sounds very kinky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that should be the tagline of the convention, not that, th that <laughs> like, go come to this convention and work for us, or we'll kill you. Well, I thought the tagline was gonna be... Come to our convention. There's a hot dog for you. <laughs> it's that, that kind of convention. <laughs> yeah, Trixie, you okay? You're hired. What? 
I mean, we could use some extra closet our staff here. So wait, you like pass it on, you just like <laughs> you get strong arm into it and then you strong arm the next guy into it and you yeah, take over the see, universe. Basically this convention is like the mafia, uh. Like she just got like a zombie why was Yeah. <laughs> we could even get you inside for free too. It's not like Trixie's extremely grateful for the kindness. <laughs> Okay, Trixie. Oh, uh, thanks. The convention sponsor is in that blue booth over there. You could get a badge from her. Alright, I'll check it out. Who turned out the lights? But What, did you walk into it, <laughs> close the door, and then everything was black, <laughs> and then you realized it was dark? <laughs> I guess so! That's amazing being that, like, when you open the door, how did this work? Is it just a black hole? I guess so. Oh, that's amazing. Either way, we've gotten eaten by the TARDIS. Um. Yeah. Who's this? I don't know, but they're yelling at me. Spike! Y yes? That's. Spike. Don't you dare step out of that door. This isn't funny, you. You have to tell me what's wrong. Did I do something to offend you? Yes! <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know! Celestia, the why are you calling us again? I know! Spike! You might want to watch the entrance there. We're in a pocket dimension, so it may be temporarily unstable. Are you alright? I'm okay. It's actually quite quaint in here. Wait, Princess Celestia? What is this a tongue? <laughs> I don't know! It's become this weird swirling, like, whirlpool of doom. It's a nice surprise to see you, too. I can see, I think she's dressed up as one of the doctors. It's yeah, like but Tom why? Baker or something. I guess because she's in the TARDIS? Celestia is secretly a time the other one singing? I don't know. And please, we are both at a convention, so... We are both at a convention to indulge ourselves. Actually, I'm just here for a present. <laughs> I know, seriously. Wait, can't we just take you and hand you to, uh, to Twilight? You'd be happy enough. Yeah, exactly! We could just be like, hey, we found Princess Celestia, you two have fun. <laughs> There's no need to defer to me. That's some nice cosplay. I, I thought you were a convention host or something like that. Isn't that what Trixie said? I have to refer to you. <laughs> I know, seriously. We have to get a badge from you or something. Oh, you wouldn't believe how hard it was to put this all together. It has to be original, but not out of character. At first I had 12 outfits to choose from, but there was one problem. What was it? There are only three days for the convention. And I want to wear them all for the sake of law implications. <laughs> so she's switching between doctor outfits like every few hours? Man, <laughs> I gotta give her credit, she didn't work. I, I feel yeah. like this is Doctor Who's fetish and he's just sitting somewhere. Like, this is weird. <laughs> Probably so. So I decided oh. to match up four outfits for each day. Genius, right? That would explain the glasses. I I, I just said Tom Baker because I recognize the scarf. That's like really famous. But um. Because okay, even so MLP I guess. Made it, made it happen to huh? That. Even yeah. MVP made it up into that. <laughs> True. Right. Thinking not a good idea, princess. Doctor. Excuse me? Princess. Are they... <laughs> yeah, I know. Are you the sponsor Trixie was talking about? Ah, yes. Were you Johnny Ostaff today? Yeah, I was sent here to get my badge. I thought about getting strong arm to do the convention. It's way more scary when it's actually the eternal ruler of the sun and the <laughs> empire that you live in. I know, she's like, hey, join the convention or I'll send you to the sun, you piece of shit. Here you go, welcome to the team. You got a staff badge. Be careful, no replacements. So wait, if I get rid of it, I don't have to work here anymore? Cool. <laughs> I guess not. 
I can get inside the convention center. Before you go, here are the rules and regulations. Oh boy. One, R E S P E E K. Respect. Wait, why do you spell it so weirdly? For all fans. I don't know. Because everyone has a life outside the convention. Basic etiquette, okay. Two, have fun. Because life outside of the convention won't allow it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I make sure That's... of it, I ruin this place. I know. I'm the princess, and I know your life is crap, so you better enjoy it while you can. Reality check, got it. No, that's it. We don't. We only got two words. That's a very weird number. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I can. I need respect, and I need um. Fun. To have fun, but if I shank people, that's okay. Right, we do it respectfully. Yeah, they, exactly. you gotta walk up to them. It's like, is it okay if I shank you? Hey, look, it's Death Junior from uh, Soul Eater. I don't know what that is. It's an anime. Sleeping guy over there looks kind of thirsty. Good to know. So I need to get a drink. Oh, there's water drink. here. I've blood of conventions. The water fountain. I don't think the convention I went to had a water fountain. That must have been a really <laughs> dead convention. I know, I don't seriously. I think usually do. Usually conventions don't have at a high school. Yeah. I, I haven't seen... I actually can't... Uh, say I remember them having such a thing at the convention I went to. Huh. I guess I have to go upstairs then. Oh, well, let's go to the panels and events. Hey, hey Coco. you move fast. Yeah. Hey, Spike. You ready for the Alicorn Princess Tea Party? Uh, sure. Nope. No. <laughs> uh, hey, who are you? Entry to the Alicorn Princess Tea Party is only granted to those in Alicorn cosplay. Then but why are you dressed as a guard? Because he's he's a guard to the entrance. You do. I, I, I guess I get it, I just, it seems weird. He's probably an extra guard, he's probably not even dressed up. <laughs> probably so. Nobody move, I lost the contact. Yeah, I don't know what your cosplay is. Yeah, we'll probably Trixie break it. again. I feel like they made this game. <laughs> ju like the guy who made this game just made this to have Trixie dress up in all kinds of outfits. I feel like it. I feel like this one was just made fun, made for the fun of having everyone dress up, which is okay by me. I mean, really, that was the most important part of the most recent episode to the um. Oh yeah, that was the, the Christmas one. Yeah, the Christmas Carol episode. I hope Boyd downstairs isn't sleeping. Whatever, wake him up. Is that how water works? Well, I mean, okay. if you splash it in someone's face and then dump their head into the bucket, <laughs> it does wake them up for at least about I... a minute. Yeah, I know, but I mean, couldn't I just go up and, like, I don't know, boop his nose or s breathe fire and send him to Princess Celestia? That'll wake him up. What happens if you breathe fire on Princess Celestia? <laughs> I don't know! Does she just, <laughs> like, question. teleport inside herself? Does this become a big guy? Is this gonna become That's... Galaxy Quest? Oh, no, it probably is. Dragon, you're clear to go. I don't, there's no need to be like that. You know my name. You don't have to call me Dragon. Wait, she's, she's in costume. She's playing. Boy playing. <laughs> she's role playing a racist. <laughs> <laughs> she's role playing an efficient person. Okay. Apparently. Fair enough. Either way, we have uh, <laughs> Daring Do dressed up as herself. Oh my gosh, you're AK Yearling. How'd you get in here? The signing isn't for another few hours. Trixie's such a troll. Did Celestia do this to her? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm part of the staff and I was just checking in. Is that so? Okay, could you throw this out for me? You got an empty cup. It's full of endless possibilities. Cool. <laughs> I'm glad I had to go up here to get an empty cup so I could collect water and splash it and... That one guy's face. I want to call him Iron Will. A uh, bulk biceps, that's right. Wait, I'll take it off your hooves. Pretty much Iron Will's long brother. <laughs> that would be amazing. 
So you're here for the convention too? No, I'm here for that Alicorn Princess tea party later today. I thought you have like a signing. I know, I was gonna I'm say, but you're doing this. I'm not even here for my own signing, I'm a dickhead. I'm just here for the Alicorns. <laughs> exactly. But your sponsor heard I was here. She made a panel for me. Oh, okay. What's up with that tea party anyway? It seems like a big deal. Huh. Well, you want the long or the short story, kid? You did say you got a few hours. Cheeky. I hate cheeky. Which is like I'm why I'm smiling you for at that. you. Know, you <laughs> which is why I'm smiling at you suggestively. I know. You see this on the table? That's the Alicorn Amulet! Got hired by the ponies wanting a tea party to find it. Wait, shouldn't you not be telling us that? Well, I mean, I don't know. She was gonna write a book about it anyway. <laughs> I guess so. Turns out it doesn't like to stay in one place. Had to track down its former wear of Versal. You mean Trixie? No one to turn down any job opportunity, that mare. You probably see her want paying her debts. The employers want to see an authentic eloquent artifact. Doesn't this belong in a museum or something? My thoughts exactly, kid. I'm confused <laughs> okay. by this thought. Wait, does Celestia know about this? <laughs> I don't know. So my question is, because you get super powerful with the Alicorn Amulet, what happens if an Alicorn wears the Alicorn Amulet? They just become even more, uh, like, godlike. But... I want to see Twilight Sparkle wearing the Alicorn Amulet. Where's Maybe... that episode? <laughs> Maybe that's how Nightmare Moonbook came to be. <laughs> What's it? Uh, Luna War? That would actually be interesting. There's a cord barred box in this crate. Why? Weird. What you say about that kid? Okay. Have anything else to say without my hat? No. Thank you, such a fake. <laughs> this thing <laughs> is like nothing like the nowadays dude, so now I'm like which one is the real one? Oh, I know. Because this serious. is like a slime bag dang dude. <laughs> she does seem a little weird for Daring to. Also, I like that he's sleeping and we just need water to wake up. Hello everyone, I may or may not have had a really awkward ending last time due to pressing buttons. But we're back when with part ended? two of Spike's Day Out. When time to get end? some water. <clears throat> Alright, here goes. Let's... Uh. Creepy. <laughs> That's really creepy, creepy, yeah. Water. <laughs> Give me that. Yeah, I was totally not sleeping on the <laughs> clock. Easy there, bro. Sorry, little dragon. It's hard to just stand and stare at ponies. I bet it is. Anyway, I gotta check out the exhibit hall. The way Spike's face is here, I was thinking, it's more like, I bet it is. I have to do that every day of my life. I mean, it is probably quite hard to stand for me, don't it? <laughs> True. Go ahead. But it's not like he moved, so we just had to wake him up so we could walk past him. Yeah, I mean, he's a big guy. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, hey, uh, are you from Madoka Magica? I think so. Are you that slow pony, are. or am I just going crazy? <laughs> Might be. I can feel the company's eyes on me. Uh, alright. Do you know a place where you can gala and or con? <laughs> what? It's the Galacon pony. Oh, yeah. Huh. Shy guy. Heh. <laughs> oh, Fluttershy. Hey, Fluttershy. Stare. Fluttershy, look up. Oh, hi, Spike. I thought I would have to talk to strangers all day. Wow. Did you make all these? Yes, but I haven't been able to sell anything yet. That's mostly because the guard fell asleep, and as we said, need, no one can get into this convention. <laughs> This place I know, sucks. seriously. <laughs> this place is the worst. Is that why there were so many lines in Everfree Northwest? Just everyone's fallen asleep. <laughs> it would have been amazing. 
Are they not too overpriced? I don't think so. That's your problem here. Haven't you ever done this before? Oh no, this is actually my first time at the Artist Alley. Normally I would be too scared to do this by myself, but I want to do twice this at least once. Well, you can practice on me trying to sell me something. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a really weird expression there, jeez. She's very unhappy okay. about this idea. <laughs> yeah. Stare. <laughs> Stare. 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 Stare at you so hard, girl. Jesus, Oh, jeez! What the <laughs> fuck? He stared a little bit too hard. <laughs> yeah. Wah! I'm so sorry, I freeze up when I put... I, 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 yeah, when I'm put on the spot. What, was that your stare just now? I guess it was. Maybe that's why Pony just went away. I feel like something took root in me. You got the stare. When you stare at the abyss, the abyss stares back. You see to break objects by staring at them, jeez. I'd be more careful from now on. My stare is down to break things. Since when? <laughs> so, she has two levels of stare. She can stare at animals to make them obey her, or she can stare at animals and just kill them. They just split it in half. Oh, so now Jeez. I'm just wondering, like, why are you not selling stuff? Just stare at them and tell them to buy your shit. <laughs> no! It seems pretty easy. I look this way, and when I walk away, it just goes up and smoke. You might want to get that checked. Can I ask you a favor, Fluttershy? Oh, of course. i would be here all day. What is it? Um, could you make me an Alicorn Princess bodysuit? Uh... <laughs> for a friend! I'm working here today and I need it for a friend! It's fine, Spike. I could make it, but I need a few materials. <laughs> this is... This thing got very strange very fast. What I'm wondering basically... is why are you asking her and not Coco Palma who said that she can make suits? Yeah, seriously. I don't know. This I don't know what Fluttershy is selling, but it doesn't look like she's selling outfits. So it seems like we should be talking to an actual uh, pony who's good at making this stuff. Yeah, so but pony what do I know? Explode things by looking at them, which kind of makes it hard to make outfits. Yeah, seriously. I can imagine she just look at the materials and they explode. But, uh, it, uh, in general, this is just a weird plot point. We basically asked Fluttershy to make us a fursuit. <laughs> well, I mean, Chinese always have fursuits, so that's weird. I guess so, yeah. First, I need some kind of cone shape for the horn. Made that size. Get cone. some kind of cone. Yep, got it. Oh, okay. Wait, <laughs> we have to get them one at a time, apparently. Die! Kill you! Okay. Apparently not. These models are so cool. Too bad I don't get paid for this. For... <laughs> I 